why do we have so many weapons? If we decimated seven opponents and the seven opponents that they took were Libya, Syria, Iraq, Iran, North Korea, Russia, and China, how many would be left over? And what they found is that almost all the war, warheads would, would remain. These would remain, these would remain, these would remain, these would remain, these would remain. 70% of our arsenal would still remain. We believe this false justification that these, the existence of these weapons will deter nuclear war, even though it's a crazy argument. If they deter nuclear war, why don't we give them to everyone uh, so that they can all deter each other? Um, this is a statement made by General Lee Butler, who is a former commander in chief of the US Nuclear Strategic Command. And he says that deterrence is preposterous. It's premised on unwarranted assumptions, unprovable assertions. Example. The report card given by, by the American Association of Engineers a few years ago gave our bridges a C plus, and then the roads they gave a D to, transit system they gave us a D minus. The forms of security, things that could really protect our population are being ignored. And a recent example of this is the U.S. Postal Service. Which the, the U.S. Postal Service is really, in my mind, a kind of civil defense. My male woman knows how many people live in every house. We right now have 12 Ohio-class submarines. Each carries the equivalent of 4,000 Hiroshima blasts. That means each of them can destroy a continent single-handedly without any other submarine. Um, the Earth has seven continents. We have 12 Ohio-class submarines.